Hi, we're the Boomer Shines, and we have a dream of doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our two kids, and cats that are running around. But first, we gotta buy a boat. So welcome to episode 26 of Virtual Boat Shopping, otherwise known as... PBS! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, so it, for those who don't know, the Great American Loop. Oh. oh, we have a cat coming to visit us. The Great American Loop is a way to circumnavigate the United States using. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, here's here's one of the two cats. For those that don't know, the Great American Loop. Here, ready, ready. Oh, yeah. A way to circumnavigate the eastern seaboard of the United States using the intercoastal waterways, rivers, lakes, and a little bit of the ocean. Yes. And we are looking for a three stateroom boat. It cannot be any taller than 19 feet 6 inches above the waterline, mm -hmm. and it cannot be any deeper than 6 feet, ideally less than 5 feet, and really like 4.5 would be ideal. Yes. Right? Right. Okay, so today we're looking at an oddball boat because I've never heard of this brand. But I like the boat. Tell well, us about what the boat is. You keep saying you never heard of it, but we've actually been on one. We went on one back in March, spring break. It was a symbol 52 yeah, or something. Yeah, there was an electrical storm and I was off of it in about a half a second. Yeah. Uh, so this is a symbol. It is a, I think, a northwest boat, so west coast of the United States. So more uh, Pacific Northwest cruising type mm -hmm. of boat. True pilot house with a pilot house door. Um, it is a semi-displacement, so it can get up to speed. It's kind of a sleeper. It is kind of a sleeper. It's a 2004, 54 foot, and it's listed for $450,000. Great price in okay. Annapolis, Maryland. Let's look at the stats. Location is an ideal for us. We're hoping to buy something like a, like. Savannah, Brunswick, if we're just going to put it out to the universe, our dream boat will be closer to Atlanta where we are. Uh, boat name is Penniless Once. <laughs> Designer, Jack W. Sarin. Don't know Jack. Naval architect. The, it's a 54, but the length overall is 56. Six beam is 17 foot six, which is pretty good, and a dry weight of 76,000 pounds. What's doesn't list it? No, but I looked it up, and I believe it is four foot three, nice. which is good. Caterpillar engine, C12, 723 engine hours, which is pretty low, which makes me wonder. It's almost too good to be true. Has it been used? Uh, but I did notice that the generator hours are double that. So basically, I think this is an older couple. It's The boat is outside of their house, basically, in Annapolis, so they would do little short cruises and run the generator. So making like lots assumptions. of assumptions there. That is not factual, that is just his assumption based on the listing. Yes. <laughs> Freshwater tanks, 250 nice gallons. Great stories that go along with these boats. Fuel tanks, 950 gallons and holding tanks, 100 What's our air gallons. height? Our air height, uh, we don't know. Well, let's look at it. It doesn't say. I know, but let's look at the boat. Okay. The reason we're not concerned is Symbol makes a hinged arch. Oh, I forgot that yeah. was the detail. Okay. All right, so let's so look at it. She's pretty. She's kind of shippy, kind of body. Yeah, it's a throwback. Did we ever review the Altima? We went on an Altima 55 that we loved. We should Altima. review the Altima. We should review the Altima. So it's got an Altima feel. I mean, I, it's not It's not an unsexy stern. It, from what I'm looking at right now, I can't tell if it's a well, sexy the, stern. Well, the tender is blocking things, but that's What's a nice tender. comes with the tender with the Honda, horsepower, Honda the 40 again? horsepower. 17 foot 6. I love a beaming boat. So that's a good width. Okay. Single ground tackle. It's not the end of the world. Uh, nice little Sea World viewing station. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have your bunny pads, but we could have some ma made there. Yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of in between. Doesn't have bunny pads, and there's not necessarily room to put chairs up here. Yeah, it, that seems like wasted space to me. Maybe some folding chairs or something. But redeeming factor, which is very hard to find right now, is wide. Ample walk-around walk around space. space. That is also, wait for it. Why is that there? Sun shades. Pilot house door. Okay. Covered. Well, it's covered halfway, but this gunnel right here oh, is. Oh, it's just got a nice solid Nice and gun. tall for the kids and the ship kitties. Yep. Yep. Good walk-around. And walk some around. steps up. I mean, it's not fully covered like, say, a Grand Banks. Aleutian. Aleutian. But it's. Um, well, that's pretty good. 
That's totally doable. Nice stainless steel, all one piece. Uh huh. It's good not construction. as beefy. It doesn't feel like a saw, but it's good looking. Side entry. Okay. Rear entry. Okay. Nice dingy. I like the little tender. Mm -hmm. And so this has a freedom lift or whatever that is. So you have storage on the aft swim deck and also up top with a davit. For the dinghy. Yep. So here, space, but nothing built in. So we would have to get creative, I think, with something folding that wasn't permanent, but we do want something so we can sit here and have a table but this is, I think, the main engine access, so that's got to be accessible every day. I love boats that have um, dining table set up in the back. And seating. And seating, yeah. And that doesn't have anything, but we could do that. It's also got good space for you to paint. Mark is an artist, so he'll be painting um, while we're underway, and he needs a good covered open space area to do that. They probably have one, but we could have you know shade made here. Okay. Ladder here is not preferable, but there's one, there's access to the flybridge up top. So this is kind of just there. Okay. Good space. Unless it's photographic trickery, but it looks like it's good space. Okay, so now we're up top on the flybridge. So when the tender isn't here, this is great. Put some deck chairs here, hang out. I love, like I said in a previous one, I'm really liking when they put the grill and outdoor kitchen out of the Main communal area. living space on the flybridge. Okay. So this is the radar arch with got nice satellite domes. Spotlights. And we don't have to worry about the air height because hinges. it's hinged. Oops. Oh. There's the grill. With the heat shield, not to be confused with the mirror. I like this layout. Good space. Two stid chairs. Access down. Hinge points. That's nice. So you got, there's only one table, but you have, this is one, this doesn't make an L, but this one does. Okay. I like an L Gate. better. Gate. Interesting. And if you had a little dog, that'd be helpful. We don't. Dab it. Hinge. There's the hinge. That makes this boat loop capable. Okay. I like the layout of this. This is a huge display. I was reading this has a uh, rear TV and engine room TV. Camera. Not TV. Sorry. Camera. There's two chart plotters, so there's one here, one here. Everything is 2015 updates on the electronics. Uh, Glenn Denning dish digital or electronic shifters. Okay. Destroyer wheel. Access down. Great space, carpet, color, you know, need some updating. Ah, but we love a, a, a little makeover in this. This is a high reward, zero to hero makeover. Just new carpet and new upholstery, really. Yeah, to I mean, I, I worry that the built-in sofas like that aren't as snuggerific as I would want, but that's good space. There's plenty of room and Probably display. storage mm -hmm. underneath all of that. Easy makeover. The wood is pretty, it's not o overly shiny. Wood's beautiful. Okay. This table folds there and there, so that's big. And look, you got a TV area and a wet bar area. Okay. And I like the design here. It's not just a straight up and down window. It's that's pleasant great, to look that's out That's great of. space. I like it. It's kind of like you're walking on water with that carpet color. And then look, you pull up these guys and you have game night or oh, that's awesome. dinner if you want. Or massive homeschool projects. Giant puzzles. I like it, and it feels... Oh, and that's it lowered. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Looks very clean. And should you need an extra berth, you could plop someone there. Or when Mark can't sleep. Pop-up TV. Love that, because I would really like to make the TV disappear so we're not constantly tempted to watch it. And by we, I don't mean we. I mean the, the little people. You could, put, you could put a Mark Bimmershine painting right there. Good. Great space. Up into the galley. Okay, love the galley. So burner, convection microwave. I love this fridge. Good so it's a fridge. door and two drawers that are hasped and locked. Love it. And then one, two, three, four, six stairs up to the flybridge. Love it. Love it. Storage, storage. So I have a dishwasher. Oh. Right here. Okay. That's great. Look at that. That might be a Sub-Zero. That is. I love Sub-Zeros. Nice little dish. That's all you need. 
Lots of storage in there. Corian countertops we could address. Okay, that's great. And then that's kind of a dining table as well. Home nice school. wheel. Love the wheel. A brass center. Mm hmm And look, this is usually this is station. open. So that's nice to have that as extra. Well, that's where you're charging everything, binoculars, like grab and go. Printer. Marriage savers. I like the layout of everything. It mimics what's on the flybridge. So and this has stabilizers and a bow thruster. Westmar stabilizers and bow thruster. But we're not sure if it has your yacht control. No. Or we can add yacht we control. We can add that. Okay. Caterpillar um, analytics, digital. Wind indicator, rudder indicator. I like Here's a the TV. Wood. For cruising. I like it. Water there was some water damage. damage, which appears to be addressed. It just needs to be cosmetically well. We don't know covered up. Addressed. Let's go down, shall we? Let's go down. Nice panel. Curved stairs don't look too steep, like a fever. Mm. Master, Good. queen. I'd rather have a king, but that works. Look, they worked in the AC vents here into the wood. It's not just like a box. Yeah. I don't know about your caftan closet. That could be a deal breaker. You have a full length mirror. A good storage. Nice. These are stainless steel. Okay. You know, that's what good else? equipment. Okay. Washer dryer, I bet. Little TV. Stereo. Nice. That's a nice shower with the teak flooring. I like the flooring throughout looks, this boat. That looks like a nice boat. It looks a lot like in comparison to the Grand, grand Banks, Banks for 100 grand more. This is 100 grand less. The Grand Banks which was four years older but it felt a lot older to me. But you know the Grand Banks name whereas I'm not familiar with the symbol name. Yeah that if anybody knows of symbol yeah, leave what, us a what comment. Do you know about symbol? Okay washer and dryer is not in there but there's space. All right, so we've gone to the guest, the head. guest head. So this would be the kids and our tutor sharing. Okay, that's a big VIP. So we could make that into split twin. So your yeah. thought here is bring a bed here, build out with some plywood mm -hmm. here and here, and this Two is twins. empty space in the middle. Yeah. And there's plenty of room to do that. There's actually a lot of floor space here. That's a good size room for the kiddos. And I like that they have their own Hatch. escape. And then you would put the tutor here. Probably. They would be down below probably. They could have clothes or whatever Stuff. here. Or we could flip flop it, who knows, okay. So I think this is a lazarette, which is why you can't put the table there. And I think you go down and here's the door into the engine room. So I do need access to that every day. So there's one generator. There's creative ways around that. So a thousand hours on the generator, 700 hours on the engines. I uh, love that it's cat. Looks clean. Here's a, you know, rails like this. Nordhaven does that. Uh, Grand More, Banks did that. Yeah, so the fever does it. So here's this watertight door into the lazarette and there are all your ropes and everything. So I like the way this is organized. They're not ropes if they're on a boat. They're lines, they're ropes if they're on the dock. Gotcha. But they're on the <laughs> What's this right here? A uh, sea keeper, a cock thing. What is this? A sea it's a cock. Sea chest. Oh, a sea chest. I thought it was a. I believe that's so you can see that there is flow. It may be a um, strainer. Which is called a sea cock, right? No, a sea cock is what. Well, there's a sea cock on the strainer. This, that's not a sea cock, but it, it's a valve that shuts things off. We got a lot to learn still. We. And by we. We. Hey, I. I got the line versus room. Here's a sight glass for fuel. That's a stabilizer. Okay. So that confirms that. What are those? Ray, Ray. Ray core? Yeah. Filters? Yep. Pretty engines, and I like that you got readouts here, so you can be in there with it running and see what's going on with this it. This is a solid option. Caterpillar engine with Caterpillar fuel, and it, they got the right filters. Yep. The exterior living space isn't ideal, but it checks every other box. Water maker? It's not in the right spot, and the timing isn't right. But other than that, it's great! 
It does have a water maker? Mm-hmm. Gets better and better. It does. And stabilizer. So there's a stabilizer. No, that's the rudder. Okay. There's a stabilizer pin. Okay, so the symbol 54. Yes, no, maybe. I give it a yes. I give it a yes, too. There's a couple of things that we would need to tweak, and it would get a makeover. A simple makeover, just so it is more our aesthetic. Yeah, but that's, that's a lot of boat for the money, I mean, compared to what we've been looking at. Stabilized, front and rear bow thruster. It's got the right layout, it's got the right look, it's got some protection for it, outdoor it passages. It's very well loved and taken care of. Yeah. Like, you can just feel that from those photos. So, I give it a I'm yes. Gonna, I'm going to call right now and put it in an offer. He's not fully kidding. Partially kidding, but not really. Anyway. Thanks for watching. We love your comments. If you know about Symbol, please put your comments and thoughts below. And if you know of any other boats that we should look at. And if you know you need some swag, <laughs> go to theboomershines.com. That, that's right. What do we anyway, have in under? Until then, until our next episode, shine, shine on! on. <laughs> okay, now we gotta go pick our kids up in carpool.